<laughs> All right, maybe the dumbest criminal I have ever heard, or is she really a criminal or just a regular person that got stuck in a situation? I freaking love this story. I want to tell you about it, and then at the end, I'm going to have a question for you that I think applies to all of us, but I think the big reason I'm pressing record now is because I think it's hilarious. So join me on this ride, the ride of shame. This is great. You're going to love it, so buckle up. Here we go. Today's episode is brought to you by the Long Sleeves over at TriStar Trading. Yeah, they're awesome. An entire selection. Going to keep you warm all spring long. Got a lot of spring left to go, and you're going to be comfy, comfy, comfy. This one is the Awesome Possum with an old school AK. You know where the link is. Check it out right down below. Big thank you to the folks over at TriStar Trading. All right. I am getting ready to film here in just a few minutes, getting ready to film for season two of my show over on the Warrior Poet Society Network, WPSN. And season two, episode one, starts here in just a few minutes. I think it'll be released tomorrow. One of the stories that's going to be in that episode, I've just got to bring to y'all today. Fantastic. Let's go to Richmond, Virginia. <laughs> Richmond, Virginia. I cannot get enough of this. It's horrible. It's awful. But it's funny. This is straight from the headline. <laughs> Virginia woman rolls her husband over 39 times with her SUV after waking him up to see her grandmother in bed with him. Holy guacamole. I thought this was fake. It's real. Her name is Samantha Warrens. She's 28. She came home early from work and her husband, Eric, 30, was in bed with her grandmother. And immediately I'm like, oh my gosh. And the story says like they were, they were naked in bed together. <laughs> so what does she do? She runs him over with her car 39 times. One uh, reporter, one news thing said runs her, runs him over with a four by four. It was a Ford Escape. Let's not let's not get carried away with a four X four. The Richmond Police Department said she got him thirty nine times. He's in stable condition. I don't even know what to do with it. I don't even know what to do with this. He comes home. She comes home and her grandma's naked in bed. <laughs> and all I hear, excuse me, all I hear is that is that guy from. I'll see if I can find it. That guy from. Family feud yelling, naked grandma, go. Naked grandma! If I found it, that'll be right there. Holy smokes. Check her out. 28 years old. She ran him over 39 times. Like, oh my gosh. How is that your first reaction? How? How? <laughs> Lieutenant Craig Smith from the Richmond PD said this, quote, the officers were trying to read her her rights but she kept yelling at her inanimate husband and telling him to go to hell. <laughs> He's laying there completely zonked out. Why? Because she ran over him 39 times and then was yelling at him. They couldn't even read her, her right. This is crazy. All right. I was going to say all kidding aside, like I can't, I cannot get enough of this story. One of the challenges with where I live right here is we our crime right here is a little bit high, a, a little bit, a little bit of a spike, a little, just a little bit of a blip, and people will sometimes hit me when they're looking at moving here and going, "Hey Johnny, it looks like crime's a little high there." I'm like, "Yeah, but it's all domestic. It's all if 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 your cousin's not going to uh, shiv you with a, a broken broom handle, you're going to be fine, or if your wife doesn't run you over 39 times with a Ford Escape." I don't know. And my point is, is a lot of us are very much into protecting ourselves and being ready and training. But <laughs> I was going to say the, the real enemy is within our own house. But yeah, it really is. A lot of times it's the people that we're around. So be mindful of who you hang out with, who you marry, and who you jump into bed with. I think it's a great story. What do y'all think? Let me know right down below. Thank you for being here. See y'all tomorrow on Spicy Friday. Naked Grandma!